Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and uh, as you can maybe hear, there's a dog barking in the background, but, you know, I don't want that to uh, limit the content I create because of the current situation. Everybody knows things are crazy right now, so I wanted to briefly talk about a setup I had for GitHub. I watched a video called How to IDEify Your GitHub, uh, which I'll link in the description of this video, and that showed how you can make your GitHub a little bit more like your VS code. Now that sent me on a hunt for a ton of extensions for Chrome, which I didn't even think to look for before. I don't know why I never thought to look for VS code ex or a uh, uh, GitHub extensions for Chrome. Now this is brave, but brave is Chrome. So it shouldn't matter either way. And I have always had Octo, is it Octobot or Octo, whatever this is called the Octo, let's see. Octotree. I've always had Octotree installed. So let's take a look at some of the things that I added now in addition to Octotree. So let's just start at the top. I added Enhanced GitHub. And Enhanced GitHub is going to allow you to download each individual file, which I like really wanted to do for a long time, which seems kind of weird. Uh, it gives you the total repo size, allows you to copy a file's contents directly and show download links, uh, just a nice, a bunch of nice little things. In fact, now if we come here and let's say I wanted to just copy this package.json file, um, I don't know, GitHub is behaving kind of oddly right now, even before I added these extensions. Like it's, it's. Uh, I think there's something going on with GitHub. Uh, you can see here, once the extension loads, I now have these download links, I can click download immediately. So that's really nice. I also get the size here as well as some nice little other things. And so, okay, I added enhanced GitHub. In addition, you can see I also added these icons. Now for these icons to work with this dark mode, I needed to adjust the icons, but let me show you which icon extension I added. I added the one with the most amount of downloads, which was this file icons for GitHub and GitLab. Seemed to work really nicely, although initially they did not show up. I needed to right click on this and say toggle dark mode, which it has been enabled now. Now that gets us to the next one, which is dark mode. Now dark mode was a nice little extension. Where is it? GitHub dark theme by Poi Chang. Uh, but keep in mind, all of these extensions can be found on the first page when you just search for GitHub in the Chrome web store. I'm not going to link to each one individually. Somebody can do that if they'd like, but um, you can find all of these just by searching to GitHub. So the dark theme, here it is. Here's the dark theme looks much nicer, especially when you do everything else in dark theme, you might as well have GitHub in dark theme as well, right? In fact, let's click one of these files. You can see even the files in a dark theme. Okay, that gets us to Octotree, which is an extension I've been using for a long, long time. Now Octotree, as you can see here, uh, is basically this little window over here, which you can pin or have open or whatever, I always leave it pinned. But it basically adds this kind of folder structure to your application here so that you can quickly navigate between files. Really nice and easy, really nice and simple. I would not use GitHub without this thing. I absolutely love this uh, extension and have for a long time, okay? So next up is going to be, uh, if we scroll down here, I installed Octolinker. Now Octolinker is interesting. Uh, let's see, it basically links your files together. So if we were inside of a file, uh, let's head to, I don't know if there's a ton of files in this project, but it works for libraries. So, um, that works fine too. You can see here that when I hover over import react from react, it links to react. Same with framer motion. Maybe I can find another repo that will have more links. In, it. in fact, let's do drop in. I know this one, or at least I think it does. My dog is still barking. Index.ts. Uh, you could see here, find index. It allows me to link to this, and I can say, go to definition. There we go. Bingo, bango. I've just jumped to this definition. Hey, that's cool. So Octolinker for the win there. That's a really nice little extension to add. Uh, let's talk about another one that I added. It might not be up here. Let's scroll up. Sorry. A lot of scroll in here. I thought that this is just sort of nice and relaxed. Okay, this is called Source Graph. Now, Source Graph 
this is a, a pretty full featured one hovers with documentation and type info. So actually that's funny. So this one might be redundant or the other one might be redundant because when I hovered over this and I clicked it, took me to it, huh? Hover over it. I think this might be source tree that's doing this. And then if I just click it and go to it, that might be the other extension. So maybe they work together in a nice way so you don't have to click this go to definition, but you can also do this find references, um, which I'm not quite sure what this is going to do. This is interesting. It shows me where this is used. Hey, that's, that's pretty neat. Um, so these are the extensions that I've added to GitHub to make my GitHub browsing experience that much better. And I hope you found this interesting. Again, all props to the Ideafy, uh, your, uh, your um, GitHub video, because it really um, inspired me to want to look for more extensions. And now that I have these extensions, I'm, I'm very happy. I'm very happy with the setup. So here it is, check it out. Uh, again, all the extensions are listed, but they're all able to be found simply just by Googling GitHub within the Chrome Web Store. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.